Okay, so next we have another variation of coxcomb. So this is a lot beefier um, and less delicate than the other process, but it's another form of needle lace. You want to show and the comparison? Another, um, yeah, we could do it at the end so okay. we can have a few okay. of them. So yeah. So, um, and here it is. No, I'm eyeballing it. So we've got the <laughs> marking my finger, marking the fabric, and eyeballing as bold as I'm going to be here. <laughs> okay. And again, this is just an exemplar. You know, I, I think with an exemplar, you should make them short, make them big, make them long, and then you compare what you like the most. It, this is not about being perfect. So I've got a loop here and I will anchor it. There's a lot of anchoring in this one, but I like, I like how it feels and works. Okay, then I'm gonna come back. So that's double. We do our little thing with making sure they're at the same length. Okay, then we're gonna go for a third loop. Three loops. Three loops. Okay, then we're going to loosely wrap. And that will give our stitches something to sort of grip along the way, kind of like the threads of a, of a screw. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes, okay, good. So you're not you're not packing them down as you did in the first first um, no, coxcomb no, no. style, the simpler coxcomb style. No. So you now is the camera picking that up? So you see, you've yeah. got your three three loops, and then they're wrapped very loosely. Okay. Three four times. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever works. Whatever your your length is. Okay. Then we're gonna do tack stitch. Okay. Lock that down. Okay. This is super simple. What you start basically is a buttonhole or blanket stitch, whatever you want to call it. We're going to start, get that over in the, get down in that crevice, your first one to always Okay, off. explain a um, blanket stitch or buttonhole stitch. Okay, so we're going to be taking our, um, our needle, thank you for asking, our needle through our loop and over the thread. So is it's catching clear? the thread. Correct. Then, as I recommend, you kind of judge that into place. That first one needs to get right into that corner. So you're pulling, you're pulling it over before you're. There we pulling go. The That's locked down. Okay. Now, after the first one, it goes super fast. Trust me. Well, don't so, go fast. Just show us I, slowly. <laughs> I will go slow. <laughs> so through the loop, over the thread. That's it. And you're basically just catching that thread in in a little knot. Correct. And this is very forgiving. If you have too much of a loop, you can pull at it. You can move it over. And linen itself, I find it's a forgiving thread, unlike silk. Silk takes no prisoners. Okay, through the loop, over the thread. Just a standard buttonhole. Correct. Through or the loop, blanket stitch. over the thread. Through the loop, over the thread. Through the loop, over the thread. And you go all the way around. Can I see how you're doing halfway through? Yep. Let's I see. See what it here. looks part way through. See, so you're getting that little ruffle. So now it's looking more like a a frilled coxcomb. A coxcomb. Yeah. And you can stitch this to make it more roughly. And you can even stitch. This is getting more advanced. You can stitch another row on top of this. But this is the basics. Once you have the basics down, you can go crazy. Um, you can build off of it with the loops that we did earlier. You can stop halfway through and make a little pico or pearl at the top. Through the loop, over the thread. Through the loop, over the thread. All the way around. Now, when we're done with this, let me get to be done before I discuss that, sorry. Through the loop and over the thread. Right. I'm going to do one more here. Oh, and drop your needle. Drop my needle. That's not a required part of this process. No, it is not. Okay, there we go. So, okay, so let's see how it you looks. You can see how it looks. Nice little ruffled edge there. Hold okay. it up. Hold it upright so I can. Oh, there's is that better. Yeah, that's nice. Here, let me move the camera. You show me. Ooh, look at that. Okay. <laughs> amazing. Amazing. Okay. Now, I am very close, but you, you are can very close. see the texture of it, and I'm going to pull out a little bit so you can see the effect of it. Okay. That's lovely. Okay. Now, what do you do next? It, again, tack stitch. To anchor it? To anchor it. And then you can start your next loop over. 
So okay. one, two, three. One, two, three, wrap, and then you start then, your your coxcomb with oh. just the, the typical buttonhole, blanket stitch. Buttonhole, buttonhole stitch. Buttonhole stitch or blanket stitch, they're the same stitch. All right. Thanks. Okay. Good.